things of a religious or spiritual nature, however you personally understand them. In simple terms, it means thinking deeply about what you believe and why, about the meaning of life, or the meaning of your own life in particular. And that, in turn, may lead to a personal course of action or a spiritual path or the start of making some meaningful changes in your life. Or, in the words of Douglas Adams, it's um, thinking about life, the universe, and everything. Today, we're focused on faith in action. So, to me, that means the theological equivalent of walking the walk, not just talking the talk. Faith in action can mean visiting Orange County detainees, as some of our people do, volunteering at a local food bank, helping the homeless by collecting and distributing food, or any one of a dozen other community projects. Today, our congregation will participate in some projects that are part of Big Sunday, and Reverend Kent will be saying a few words about that shortly. Big Sunday is a time to reach out to the wider community beyond our own little patch of real estate. We come together in community, supporting and encouraging each other on our spiritual journeys, affirming the importance not only of tolerance, but of acceptance, compassion, and open-mindedness. Welcome to this good place, Tapestry, a Unitarian Universalist congregation. If you are a Facebook user, be sure to check in and tell your friends what a wonderful place this is, a place that you found and how wonderful a congregation this is. And then after you do that, would you please take a moment to turn off mobile phones or other devices that make noise and that might be disruptive to our worship time today. Also to help maintain a contemplative atmosphere, Please hold your applause until after the postlude is finished and the service is completed. Welcome. Thank you for being brave enough to introduce yourself. And um, if you are new and you haven't yet picked up um, an informational packet, you can do so at the uh, greeter's desk. And if you have been coming for a while, but you are not yet a member, and if you feel you have found a spiritual home here with us, then please talk to our minister, Reverend Kent, a member of the membership committee, or someone else at the greeters table about becoming one. We heartily welcome everyone, so now it's time to extend a greeting to those sitting around you. It's great to see everyone connecting, and. You can continue your conversations later um, during the social hour and while you're working on your projects for Big Sunday. And now Reverend Kent has an announcement. Um, just a couple of quick announcements. Several of us were at district assembly this past weekend. Some got home at 10 o'clock last night and are here this morning. Um, Jan can tell you more about District Assembly, or I can, and she has the printed program. Jan, can you stand so we all know who you are? In her bright yellow, standing on the side of love in Spanish shirt. The other announcement that I wanted to make is that we have a big camp out coming up. Um, the 20th through the 22nd at Casper's Wilderness Park. It's a beautiful place. It's only 30 minutes away, so if you're not so sure about the little ones and camping for the first time, you can get home in a rush if necessary. <laughs> and if you don't quite have the equipment or if you're new to camping, we have lots of experienced folks, so talk to someone and we can make it happen. Um, Caitlin, our Director of Religious Education, is taking RSVPs for the camping trip. It's only $15 per camper or $10 for a Saturday visit. I guarantee you $15 for your camping to be arranged and food provided is a bargain. I hope you can make it. We have other exciting events coming up at Tapestry, and you can find information about those and other upcoming events in your order of service on the PowerPoint or um, on our website.
Our various groups and events reflect our vision of being a transformational home for liberal spirituality and a dynamic community leader in Orange County and beyond. And now I'd like to invite Jay Lickford, who's surprised, of course, because I didn't ask him ahead of time to light our flaming chalice. <laughs> our flaming chalice is the central symbol of our Unitarian Universalist heritage. We light this chalice to find inner peace, joy, and love for each other, and faith in ourselves. Also, to be welcoming to whomever we meet and kind to all living creatures. So embrace this light of hope as we share this time together. This is a congregation that gathers in faith. Not faith in one religion or one God or one way. We gather in faith of the power of diversity, the power of love, and the hope of a world transformed by our care. We gather in faith in ourselves and those around us. Not a faith that requires perfection or rightness of one another. Rather, a faith that in our shared imperfection, we may learn to stumble and fall and get back up again together. Faith that we will want, help one another to rise and to try again and again. This morning, we'll exercise our faith in action instead of just words. Together, we'll practice, we'll participate in service projects that help our neighbors. Like every time we gather and worship, I hope that we can join together with open hearts and open minds so this can be a transformational experience. So welcome to Tapestry and this wonderful opportunity to exercise our faith. Every Sunday when we gather, we pause to recognize the milestones, the joys and sorrows that shape our lives. Some do that by lighting a candle in silent recognition of those events, and some write a short message on a slip of paper. I have two messages to share with you this morning. One is from one of our visitors, Shirley Riga. She's uh, visiting from a UU congregation in Massachusetts. She's visiting her 102-year-old mother-in-law who is nearing transition. She's grateful to be here at a Unitarian Universalist congregation that can be an anchor in that time. We're glad you're here. And Judy Clemmer is pleased to announce that she has been hired by Sherwin-Williams for the position of field color consultant and sales rep. She's been working on this a long time. Congratulations, Judy. This and love. Each one of our congregations strives to be a little embodiment of that vision. No matter its size, though, every congregation depends on each of its members, each one of you by your commitment of time, energy, and resources helps make our vision a reality. Individually and together, we are Unitarian Universalism, building a world filled with peace, justice, love, and joy. It's time for us to get busy with our service projects. The Flaming Chalice, as you know, is the central symbol of our Unitarian Universalist heritage. We light it any time we come together and worship to mark that time is sacred. This morning, our chalice will remain lit as we leave this space to participate in acts of service as a reminder that our worship continues outside. So would you join hands for just a moment for these closing words? May our gift of service open our hearts to the blessing of our neighbors. May our time shared in service strengthen this community, and may it remind us of the interdependent web that connects us all. Now go in peace and let the light within you be a blessing to our world.